Well, you know, I think we're st seeing the early stages of this outbreak. I mean, I think the fact that the CDC is calling it fast breaking and dangerous, those are words that the CDC doesn't use lightly. So I believe that we're going to see, unfortunately, more people counted. Not that the outbreak is like continuing. It's, you know, it's that's likely not. But what it is, is that it takes some time, especially in a multi-state outbreak. And so we know unequivocally that these people are linked. And then the investigation has linked it to quarter pounders. And it seems that the most likely ingredient on the quarter pounders that were contaminated were the onions. If, if, if this, this onion supplier was exclusive to McDonald's, that would give me a little more comfort that this outbreak is not going to expand. And I think, you know, McDonald's should let the public know that because we, it'd be nice to know that it's not a bigger problem than a McDonald's problem. And so I think if they were more transparent about that, I think that would be a very good thing. You know, I also think... <clears throat> I haven't seen a lot of empathy towards the consumer. They've certainly talked about food safety and all that sort of stuff. But, you know, nearly 50 of their customers have gotten sick from one has died and one child has developed acute kidney failure. I think there could be a little more sympathy shown towards the victims. I lost a child to a foodborne illness in 2001, most likely caused by uh, contaminated ground beef, and, and it was E. coli 0157H7. And my heart really goes out to the families, the people and the families and the communities that are being impacted by um, these this outbreak, but as uh, the other outbreaks that have been reported this week as well.